Hello and welcome to the 2018 Arcteryx Alpine Academy here in the heart of Chamonix. On today's show we're going to show you around, go to a few events and check out the stunning Chamonix mountain scenery. So this is the Alpine Academy. It happens every year here in Chamonix and it's a series of clinics throughout the weekend. So each clinic is run by guides and of course pro athletes who come in and give their expertise. This is the village, this is the hub of everything and from here everyone goes out into their various different workshops. So today's Climbing Daily is a bit of a highlights show. We're going to give you guys an idea of what the Academy is all about and show you some of our best bits. So one of the courses on offer here at the Academy is rock climbing and that goes from beginners all the way up to experienced climbers where they get more of a masterclass feel. There's always an athlete on each clinic and guides looking after the clients and one of the athletes is over here which is Paolo which I'm going to I'm gonna nab him quickly. Paolo nice to see you again man. Hey how are you? I'm really really good. Um, what are you teaching on this clinic? Uh, today we are teaching multi-pitch climbing on a sport route so with bold and they are learning how to um, create an anchor, how to belay his partner, and now we are already finished uh, how to going down uh, with the with repair with a double rope. So one of the advantages for them is you are obviously a very experienced multi-pitch climber, you do it all the time anyway, you, you can just bring that knowledge and give it directly to them. Yes, I try to give them uh, my, my experience and uh, also fortunately uh, I'm also an aspirant guy in Italy, so I can give also the experience that all the instructor give to me in this year that I, I started to become a guide. So now we're up here next to the murder glass and somewhere down there on the glacier there's Will Gad and a bunch of ice climbers. Let's go try and find them. So these are the famous murder glass ladders. So we head down there, eventually hit the glacier and then walk up towards the Grand Jurass and hopefully find some ice climbing guys. This is such a cool place to be because in the winter it's full of snow and you ski down in the summer all that snow goes and you're left with this ice that's super easy to walk on. Now the reason we're not roped up is because it's a dry glacier so you can seal the hole so there's no chance of falling down any of them. So Will Gad, for those of you who don't know who Will Gad is, he's a badass Red Bull athlete, ice climber, alpinist, just all round general wad. I'm kind of excited to meet him actually. So I'm here with Maria. Maria, you just came up that ice cliff. What was it like? It was pretty epic. It was my first time ice climbing. Uh, I'm into rock climbing and yeah, wanted to try something different and it was yeah, pretty cool. See, I'm into rock climbing too. I'm a rock climber. And whenever I'm on ice, I'm just like, I ju it just blows my mind. Like I don't know how to, to move on. Yeah, it's so different from, from the rock. It feels like you're on the ice, <laughs> very slippery. So I'm at the bottom of this amazing ice cliff with the man himself, Mr. Will Gad. Will, uh, it's lunchtime, so I've managed to time this perfectly. Well done, well done. Uh, how's it going today for you? It's going great. Everybody's making lots of progress. Beautiful day, Merida Glass, life is good. So there's a few lines set up. There's some slightly easier stuff over here, and then yeah. this section gets really quite steep, almost overhanging at the top. Well, how about you have a go at it here? Yeah. I'll give you a few pointers and you can take a crack at it. That would be very cool. Okay, okay, yeah, sweet. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Yeah, we gotta fix this right now. Just tuck your jacket inside this kind of gong show here. Looks are very important in every sport, right? This is true. Yeah, it, it's taken me many years to get to this level of... <laughs> the baggy look is really good for like prison jeans, but not so much for uh, ice climbing. Yeah, all right, come on, let's go give her over here. So Will, before I set off, what's the kind of like first, first things I should be doing? So the first thing you want to do in ice climbing is have really good feet. 
And to get good feet, you want to kick your foot in. And when you kick, you want to lift your toes up, not point them down, lift them up toward your shin. There you go, now you get all your, your points into the ice nicely. Yep, and look at it. If you look at it, and then as you stand up, everybody wants to go on point like a ballerina. That's not the move. The move is to get them in, then keep your foot exactly level. Imagine that you had a bit of a level on the side of your foot and you want to keep the ball in there. So if you don't, if everybody kicks it in and then huh, and does that, it's not good. Then the cramp, what happens is the boot pushes on the ice, they come out. So pick your toes up to kick. Oh yeah, look at that. They're going in really well. Boom, boom, boom. Good. Okay. Yeah. Boom, looking solid. Good. This sport's easy. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> I got a microphone. Well, that's true. Yeah. Is that generally you want? So you you are. You're doing great. Generally, you want to hang out of the bottom of the ice tools. It'll make it a little bit easier to swing them. Good. Hey, you're getting good feet. That's the basis of it all. Good. Keep your toes up a little bit more. Look at your feet each time. Doing great. So getting a bit steeper here. Yeah, keep giving it. Remember to pick your toes up a bit because they're starting to bounce off the ice a bit. If you don't lift your toes up, then the spikes don't go in. There you go. Attack. Looking good. Generally, severing, severing the rope is not a good idea, so try to keep your tools a little bit away from the rope. Looking good, man. Matt, Epic TV, TV sending it up there. Come on. Really good. I'm not going to get out of the way so I don't get killed by falling ice. But you did great. Nice job. So you want to back up a bit and take a running... No, no, don't do that. What do you think? First time I, ice climbing, how do you feel? <laughs> not my first time, but what was good is that, that tip you were saying about not going in your points. Because that is something I do. Because I kick in and I think because I want a little bit more reach. or just yep. It feels more bummer to do that. But keeping it level actually felt stronger. Yeah. And what, happen, what happens is exactly your, your, the front of your boot hits the ice. When you stand up, it pushes your spikes out. So as long as you keep your feet flat and really level and pick your toes up when you kick, it all works out. You did great, man. Right on. Thank you. Thank you so much, Will. It's really cool. So there we go, me and Will Gad ice climbing on the murder glass. Pretty perfect. So now we're going to head down the valley, back to the Alpine village, and see what we can see. So we're back down from Monteverde. I've had a Coke and I feel a little bit more human. And this is the village. So on our left is the Arcteric stand. That's where they give demo gear so you can use on your workshops. On our right, a Sunto stand for watches. Uh, a sort of waterproof bag workshop over there, sponsored by Gore-Tex. Another Gore-Tex stand here showing off the fabric and how it works. And then on our left is the free beer stand with this orange wristband thingy, which I'll be honest, I've visited that a few times. Uh, Peak Design camera straps on our right, and we're going to be working with Peak Design soon for a special film. Uh, some freeze-dried food stuff over there, which you can cook up on the mountains. And here, a big arch of a climbing wall where people can come along and have a bit of a climb. So that's it, the end of an amazing weekend here in Chamonix and it has been an incredible Arcteryx Alpine Academy yet again. We're going to be bringing you more exclusive Climbing Daily Arcteryx Academy coverage coming soon. See you later.